In this feature, I'll be covering a brief look at the geology on Mars, as well as new artifacts I discovered at a site near Meraldi in the southern mid-latitudes of Mars, in a region to the south of Argaia Planitia. Let's have a look at the original photograph, cover some geology, and then look at the artifacts. This photograph is called Perry Glacial Survey, acquired by High Rise on the 23rd of July 2022 at a resolution of 25.2 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file, just under 700 megabytes in size. And there's a look at the low res black and white and the terrain in this photograph. You can see the small boulder fields caused by glacial activity in the past, as well as some fractures in the surface. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. So the site we're looking at is right there, folks, at approximately 63 degrees 30 minutes south, 35 degrees 31 minutes west. And Meraldi is over here to the east. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So at the time of this video, the high-rise photograph had not been loaded to Google Earth Mars yet. So let's have a look at the definition of periglacial activity according to Wikipedia. To quote, describes geomorphic processes that result from seasonal thawing of snow in areas of permafrost, the runoff from which refreezes in ice wedges and other structures. And we'll take a closer look at the photograph they've included there. And yes, we'll see evidence of this in the high-rise photograph. And then they cover further geological evidence as found on Earth. And we have the patterned ground with the polygonal shapes and fractures, as well as random boulder fields. And you can see way back there, we've got some people. So these are small boulders, which we'll also see evidence of in the MRO photograph. Water on Mars, this is some more background info for you folks, and this is important. This is also from Wikipedia. The only place where water ice is visible at the surface is at the North Polar Ice Cap. Abundant water ice is also present beneath permanent carbon dioxide ice cap at the Martian South Pole, and in the shallow subsurface at more temperate conditions. Let's zoom in on the bottom right of this photograph. This is at actual one-to-one -one scale. We can see the patterns very similar to those that we find in tundras here on Earth and also the polygonal shapes and fractures that we find in Kenya and then the smaller boulders very similar to those that we find here on earth they're not as compacted as we see here on earth and then these I'm sure you'll agree with me cannot be ice blocks per the definition of water ice that is only found at the North Pole of Mars this is in the lower southern mid-latitudes of Mars. So that can't be an ice block, folks. It's about five to six meters across. And it's got multiple right angles to it. It almost looks as if there's slots or bevels or multiple levels to this rectangular object. The 90 degree angles here, yeah, parallel edges. It's just a dead giveaway to me that it's possibly artificial. Then we're looking at more of these smaller boulders and what I speculate larger megalithic blocks and slabs. I think Mars was a lot warmer 
in the distant past. So let's have a look at the anomaly right there, folks. One, two, three, almost hexagonal in shape. And then the triangular part here on the top. I don't know what's going on here. Is this an elevated smaller part or is this a slot or a carved out area on that larger item? And then again you can see the smaller boulders scattered about, the fractured soil or surface and then that sticks out like a sore finger. Check out the looked like carved out areas in this item which is about five meters across almost looks as if the carved out areas were machined out with something that cuts in an arc very strange don't know what that could be some type of sculpture perhaps who knows Let's zoom in on this area of the image and immediately it becomes evident that we're looking at uniformity in the width of whatever this item is. And it's got this strange part at the one side running through the center. It sticks out here. Looks almost like a ship's rudder. And then a small block on the top parallel with this one side. Ice blocks? Nope, I don't think so. I think we're looking at old megalithic blocks and slabs of structures that were devastated, totally destroyed in the distant past. So let's zoom in on the main attraction right there. In the center, check out the straight edges to it. Almost a 90 degree angle. And then the part in the center that's casting a shadow there. Or could it be a hole? It also looks like the edge is sort of wavy. It looks almost metallic in nature. And we're looking at the rectangular item there. It seems to have a bevel on it. And this is about 4 meters across. Check it the uniform width to the perpendicular part. And then the bevel is also uniform in width. Or could that be a narrow part lying across this block. Right, let's go down to southern Argaia Planitia to the site which is just to the southwest of Maraldi. Let's zoom out a bit. You can see Argaia Planitia over here to the left and no Arcasteria to the right. Let's look at the abundance of anomalies in these two regions alone. So briefly there are the anomalies as featured and yes we can see the evidence of possible periglacial activity but these larger items are huge. They're not just small boulders as we see at similar sites here on Earth. So we're looking at ancient megalithic items here, folks. Let's have a look at sites at a similar Latitude as the South Pole. So this is at a site in Von Kamen. We also have these slabs or blocks. Check this out folks. It looks like sheet metal. This part 
coming off the center parallel with the mind surface and then there's a smaller item lying on top of it parallel with the sides definitely not random polygonal fractures in the surface as we can see around these huge objects got right angles parallel edges and the usual protrusions on the top this side here yeah, to the west of uncommon for some more of this fractured ground but check out the rectangular block with a small protrusion on it very similar to those megaliths we find at ruins here on earth so definitely not ice blocks as we only find those at the North Pole of Mars per the article and uh, rather curiosity if I don't have it wrong has recorded temperatures over 20 degrees Celsius that's more on the equator of Mars so Mars does get warm in summers check there's even a disc shape Definitely breaks the polygonal shape theory. Another semicircular object there. The high rise team calls this photograph periglacial survey. I agree with them if you look at the geology of the smaller boulders and fractures in the surface. But how can they miss these huge rectangular megalithic type anomalies with the protrusions on the top disc shapes? I don't understand how the geologists analyze these things. So I don't have a mandate to analyze any of the artifacts. Do they only strictly focus on the geology? Very strange. But let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinion. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Cheers for now.